Huawei has just announced the Huawei Mate X2 and it looks surprisingly similar to a, another foldable. What's up guys, Saf here on Super Saf TV and this is everything you need to know about the Huawei Mate X2. So Huawei had the announcement which was in Chinese and I know not everybody's going to sit through the full Chinese presentation so I'm summarizing everything here for you guys. So firstly let's address the elephant in the room. I know a lot of you guys are going to be saying this in the comments. Yes the Mate X2 looks a lot like the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2. I hate that long name but anyway the Fold 2. Now if we look at the Huawei Mate X and the Huawei Mate XS they were outer folding designs whereas the X2 is now an inner folding design. Arguably, the outer folding design does look better, but we've discussed this before, it's not the most practical solution. In order to have a display fold, it does have to have some form of plastic with it, and plastic obviously scratches much easily than glass at like level two or three. I can't remember, we'll have to ask Zach. Anyway, on the Mate X, what we did find was that when the device was, say, on a table, when you're putting it in and out of your pocket, the folding display is always exposed, which means it can get scratched up and get lots of dents in very quickly and easily. On an inner folding display, that folding display is always protected when the device is not in use, and only when you have it open is when it's exposed and you're not likely to be doing anything too drastic with it when it is open. So Huawei has obviously seen this and has now opted for an inner folding display like we've got on the Fold 2. Let's take a look at these displays. So the exterior display is around 6.45 inches. The interior display is around 8 inches. Both of these are larger compared to the Fold 2 and they both have OLED technology with a 90 hertz refresh rate. Now, the interesting thing here is Huawei has gone for 90 hertz on both. This is something we've seen on other Huawei devices as well. Huawei doesn't seem to be going all the way to 120 hertz and kind of giving you a balance between battery life as well as resolution and refresh rate. The Samsung Fold 2 does have 60 hertz on the outer display, but 120 hertz on the inner display. The outer display in the Mate X2 also has a pill-shaped cutout, but there is no cutout on the main display. The Z Fold 2, we have a punch-out in the center on the cover, as well as a punch-out on the inner display too. Now let's move on to the design. The main thing here is Huawei has tried to go for a minimal gap design. So when the device is folded, you're not gonna see as much of a gap as on the Samsung Fold 2, although I have to say straight away that the diagram that Huawei presented was definitely very exaggerated. The gap on the Z Fold 2 is nowhere near what they showed in the diagram, but nevertheless, the gap is supposed to be smaller than what we've got on the Fold 2, and it's also supposed to have less of a crease. Now, Richard Yu, when he was presenting the device, kind of said that there is no crease, but when the light was hitting it, you could see a little bit of a crease thing going on. And although the crease isn't gonna be a straight line like we've got on the Z Fold 2, there is gonna be some form of a crease and it's not gonna be completely flat. Now the way Huawei is achieving this minimal gap with this minimal crease is by having what they call a water drop shaped cavity when the device is folded. So the display kind of curves in, similar to what we've seen on the Motorola Razr, I would say, and that allows for a minimal gap. Also, the device kind of tapers off when it's flat out, and at its thinnest point is around 4.4 millimeters, so it is very, very thin. And it kind of looks like the weight is more towards one side, and that's supposed to make it easier to hold. The Mate X2 weighs around 295 grams, which is slightly higher compared to the Z Fold 2, which is around 282 grams. And the Mate X2 comes in four colors. There's a blue, there's a pink, there's a black and a white. Now being a flagship device, we do have flagship cameras. So there is a 50 megapixel primary camera. There's a 16 megapixel ultra wide camera, which can focus in for macro shots as well. We then have a 12 megapixel telephoto zoom camera, which can give you around three times optical zoom. And we also have an eight megapixel super zoom camera giving you around 10 times optical zoom. Now these cameras seem similar to what we've seen 
on the Huawei P40 Pro Plus, which does have very, very good cameras. And on the front facing camera, the pill shaped cutout, we have a 16 megapixel selfie camera. And I'm assuming the other one is the depth sensor, which will help with selfies. The Huawei P40 Pro and the P40 Pro Plus last year took excellent selfies thanks to those dual cameras. But what's interesting is, unlike the Z Fold 2, we do not have a camera when the device is folded out. So if you are doing things like video calls, then you're not gonna be able to use that full eight inch display. You will have to use the exterior display. Now, like the Z Fold 2, you can use the rear facing cameras as front facing cameras. So when the device is folded out, you can actually see the exterior display as a viewfinder, and you'll be able to use, say, the ultra wide camera for group selfies. The Mate X2 is powered by the Kirin 9000 5G chipset. This is a five nanometer chipset. It comes with eight gigabytes of RAM with either 256 or 512 gigabytes of storage. I expect the performance to be very, very good. We of course have stereo speakers and we have a 4,500 milliamp hour battery. This is actually the same size as what we've got on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2. And the Mate X2 can support up to 55 watts of charging, which is very, very fast. Now, I'm not sure if this charger actually comes included or not. This is not clear at this point in time, but we do not have wireless charging, something that the Z Fold 2 does have. Now for software, it's quite interesting because the Mate X2 will be coming out of the box with EMUI 11.0, which is based upon Android 10. However, in the presentation, Huawei did mention that the device will be upgradable to Harmony OS in April. Now, Huawei has showed us some optimizations for multitasking on the Mate X2, which will be really useful on that larger eight inch display. And of course, Google Play services are still not supported. We've talked about this many times before, but generally you can still get an experience using the browser. So you can access YouTube, Gmail, etc via the browser, but it's obviously quite limited to what you might be used to on a regular Android device. Now this might not actually matter because as far as we know right now, the Mate X2 is only gonna be available in China. There is no information about availability internationally and it will be available from the 25th of February, coming in at around 18,000 yuan. Now I've done some conversions, obviously it's not gonna be like for like, but that comes to around 2000 pounds here in the UK, which is a little bit more compared to the Galaxy Z Fold 2. And that is the Huawei Mate X2. Granted, it looks very similar to the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2, but for me, I love seeing competition. And even if we're not gonna be able to get a hold of it outside of China, it still does push the bar and it will hopefully help push foldables even further. I'm somebody who loves foldable devices and I'm always excited to see new innovations in this area and the way Huawei have implemented a minimal gap on their device. It's gonna be very interesting to see how they develop this going forward and what Samsung's gonna be coming out with next this year on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3. What do you guys think of the Huawei Mate X2? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do drop me a comment below. Let me know your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then do it. That thumbs up button for me. And if you want to see lots more quality tech content, then be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any of it. Thanks for watching. This is Saf on SuperSaf TV, and I'll see you next time.